Hello everyone, welcome back to Electrified Outdoors. Are you looking for a mobile charger that can handle anything your outdoor and off-road adventures throw at it? Well, today we're gonna to take a look at the J Plus Booster. It's a very well-made charger that also has an adjustable charge rate and a nice quick uh, connect and disconnect system. We're gonna see how it compares to the Rivian mobile charger and we're also gonna take a look at the charging speed as well. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have both of the chargers. This is the uh, Rivian OE mobile charger. And then we have the J Plus Booster. This is the package that it comes in and it even has the Velcro things on the underneath of it. So if you put it up in your frunk, it'll actually adhere itself to the carpeted bottom and won't move around while you're driving. So if we take a look at the Rivian charger, this is what we get with the vehicle. And you can see we have our NEMA 1450 adapter. We also have the adapter to charge on a standard 120 volt outlet. Pretty standard, no adjustability on this at all. Feels, I don't know, medium quality. And we get a little guide with it and we get this nice little carrying case. And the only option we have to control the charging amperage is in the vehicle itself or in the Rivian app. And you have to manually limit the charging amperage if, for example, you're using an adapter to charge on a TT30. So it can be done, but this is slower. It's only 32 amps, and it doesn't have as much capability as the J Plus Booster, which you'll see in a minute. Now, when we open the packaging for the J Plus Booster, we can see that it, this is a really nice case. It feels really rugged. And the unit itself feels very solid. They actually have videos online of people running this over with a World War II tank. And you can see we have these rubber fittings on the ends. This is where your adapters latch on to. I'll show you that in a minute. The cord feels very high quality, very pliable. So it doesn't feel like it's going to have issues in the cold. Now we do have some adapters that they sent us with the unit. And you can really get any kind of adapter you can think of. But we have some standard adapters here. We have the NEMA 1450, the TT30, which is useful if you were at a campsite and you only have a 30 amp hookup. And then we also have a NEMA 1430. So if you're an Airbnb or someplace like that and all you have is a dryer plug, you can use that. And I'll show you with the dryer plug, this is the connection. So you have this red dot here and you also have a red dot on the unit itself. And I'll show you really quick, you're gonna line those two up and it snaps together. It's very solid, very firm. And this is what you have. And then when you're ready to remove it, you just pull this and pull it right out. Lastly, we have an adapter to charge on a standard 120 volt outlet. So we have everything we need with this. We also have a wall mount. So the J Plus comes with a really nice wall mount. This feels like aluminum and it has a place for you to, to holster the charging head. And it also, the unit sits in here and you can also do some cord management around this side as well. Uh, I'll try to find a picture online to show you what that looks like in use. The last thing we have in the box here is some mounting hardware for this wall holster if you choose to uh, mount this somewhere. Last thing I wanna look at is the J1772 charge head. Now we do have this nice weatherproof cover on top of the unit. And I take it off, you can see that. This feels very high quality. The latch, nice and clicky. So this is gonna stand up to your harsh outdoor weather and it'll stay with you and stay working no matter what type of camping adventures you take it on. It's just a very solid, well-made unit. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at it in action and see if it can deliver. First, we're going to try the Rivian factory mobile charger, and that maxes out at 32 amps. So we're going to try that, and we're going to look at the app and see what the speed is there. And as we come in here to the vehicle, we can see that with the OEM mobile charger, we're charging at 6.9, between 6.9 and 7.2, it's been varying. So next we're gonna try the J Plus and see how that performs. All right, so here uh, on the J Plus, booster, we can see that we can select the charging amperage. And right now it's set at 40. You can see it blinking on and off. And I can set it down all the way down to looks like six amps. That's the lowest I can set it. So I can go to six all the way up to 40. And this is good if you have a voltage drop at the campground where you're staying or any place else that you're plugging in, you can reduce the charging amperage to prevent a brownout situation. But for right now, we're gonna leave it on 40 and we're gonna see how it performs there. Okay, so here we are inside the truck and you can see that we're charging at 9.1 kilowatt. And this will vary depending on the voltage. So if you're at a campground and the voltage is dropping a little bit, you may see a little bit slower also if you're on a commercial electrical supply and it's three phase, you're gonna see down around eight kilowatt because the voltage is 208 versus 240. But you can see we're definitely charging at 9.1 kilowatt. And if we go over here and look, we can see that it automatically set our charging amperage max to 42 amps. I don't know why it does that. It does it two amps above the limit that the charger can provide, but for some reason it does that on the screen here. But we can see we're successfully charging at 40 amps. Okay, so we have the TT30 adapter plugged in here, and you can see the charger has correctly detected that that adapter is plugged in and it's limiting us to 24 amps. So we can't go any higher than that. And that's good because we don't want to overload the circuit. You can see that we're plugged in and charging. Let's go ahead and take a look at our charging speed. Now here we are in the truck and you can see that we're charging at between 2.6 and 2.7 kilowatt. Remember the TT30 is a 120 volt circuit, it's not a 240 volt. So the charging, even though it's charging at 24 amps, is gonna be significantly slower because of that. And you can see over here, the vehicle has detected that we have a 26 amp limit. Really it's 24, but again, it goes for some reason two amps above the rated limit of the charger. So yeah, everything works great. Okay, everyone, so that's gonna do it for this one. What are you currently using for a mobile charger? And are you considering getting this J Plus booster? Let us know down in the comments section. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and then hit that bell so you get notified anytime we add new content. And remember to hug the people you love every chance you get. Thank you guys so much for watching.